So I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this. It's the Aero 15 from Gigabyte. It's actually one of my favorite notebooks to date. Uh, but back at CES and Computex, Gigabyte was actually talking about a ton of ways that they've been working on improving the performance uh, on this lineup with some pretty unexpected tech. Now, I won't be covering every bit of this notebook because if you're interested in a full review, you can actually check it out right over here. But there is a particular feature that I really wanted to try out, and that is specifically with Gigabyte using artificial intelligence to optimize or give these notebooks the best possible performance as well as give users you know, better battery life, considering that these laptops feature some really high-end specs. Now, I know that sounds like something out of Terminator 3, but here, it's not like these machines are gonna rise up and take over the world through these notebooks, because that's not what we're dealing with here. Honestly, we all know how artificial intelligence is being incorporated in pretty much every area that we're aware of. So everything, you know, from the automotive world, where car manufacturers are implementing some sort of AI uh, to enhance self-driving uh, techniques, to Windows with image searching. Heck, even the new processors from AMD and GPUs from NVIDIA have some basic form of AI that can optimize clock speeds by predicting upcoming system workloads. So why not incorporate something like that in a notebook to improve the overall experience? Let's talk about that right after this. Let me ask you, what is more satisfying than a good peel? Ooh, that hits the spot, but you gotta love easy to sync ARGB components for a beautiful light show. Thermaltake's extensive support with 5 volt ARGB motherboard sync gives you lighting control of fans, memory lighting kits, all in one coolers, power supplies, and more by using the 5 volt header on your motherboard. You can also daisy chain a bunch of products to light from a single 5 volt header or with their own controller for individual customization. But now with ARGB sync, it's all made incredibly easy to match. Check it out below. Now, I do want to take this time to thank Gigabyte for partnering up in this video. Now, I also do want to mention that uh, our opinions and performance metrics are solely ours, uh, but Gigabyte did provide us with some technical information so that I could easily understand how AI algorithms work, specifically on uh, the Aero lineup. So the artificial intelligence Gigabyte is using for their Aero 15 is called Azure for Microsoft. And that's actually a name that includes all sorts of cloud-based technologies. But the way it works on this notebook is pretty interesting. Let's see if I can explain this well. You see, on a laptop, you usually have to constantly switch between performance modes in Windows or a secondary utility like Control Center from Gigabyte if you want to, to get the most out of the system. Want longer battery life? You would select Battery Saver. If you need the best overall performance, you would go with the high power setting. Uh, and in some gaming notebooks, they have their own gaming mode too, which emphasizes GP performance. Now, sure, you can create a custom power plan in Windows, but the options there are pretty limited. The same goes for technologies like NVIDIA's Optimus, which can switch on the fly between a discrete GPU and more efficient IGP, depending on system demands. But none of these technologies are able to do it all. They're either on or off, and they don't have the ability to control things like fan speeds. Not to mention the whole process of switching back and forth between these modes uh, can be a little bit tiring and complicated for novices who just want to operate uh, these notebooks properly. That's where Microsoft's Azure AI on the Aero 15 comes in. Think of it as you know a fully automatic car transmission versus manual transmission on other notebooks. Well, actually, okay, think of it as Azure is more of an automatic with paddle shifters, uh, but uh, more on that later. So what Azure does is that it monitors power consumption in real time, and when it detects an application requesting for more power, if it's either from the CPU or GPU, it'll automatically switch system resources to accommodate that. The Aero 15 then sends information about every program's request to the cloud, where Azure AI then stores it. As more of that information is sent to the cloud, the AI learns more about the optimization needed to get the best results in every scenario. More importantly, all the information for applications you use is actually stored locally, and new optimizations are sent to and received from the Azure cloud on a regular basis. So that means your system could get even better over time and you won't lose the benefits from AI even if you're offline. The benefit is that all of this is done automatically, but for enthusiasts who really like to tweak and tune with certain settings within their notebook, Gigabyte certainly gives you the option to adjust those settings within their own control panel. So it's not like they're taking that feature away from you. It's just that for those users who are looking for the best overall performance uh, without having to fiddle around with settings, Azure in this case can come in super handy. Now, obviously we're concerned about giving you information, 
but Gigabyte is actually pretty transparent about that. So for instance, if you set up this notebook from scratch, uh, say for example, you're setting up Windows and when you get into the desktop screen, there will be a little pop-up window that'll ask you for your consent to collect data related to system specs like CPU mode, operating system version, MAC address, memory, etc. And if you're not comfortable doing that, you can obviously decline the option to upload data metrics to the cloud. Okay, so essentially what Azure does is that it detects what's primarily on your display. So for instance, if you're gaming, it will equally distribute the power to the GPU and the CPU. Most likely the GPU in this case, that would be its priority because it is the key component when it comes to gaming. Uh, but say for instance, you switch to something a little bit more creative, like you're editing a video or running an application that's more CPU intensive. It'll make sure that it'll channel as much as power as it can to the CPU to get the best performance. Azure also makes sure that the fan speeds are well under control. So if you're doing something a little bit more, uh, you know, system uh, intense, then the fan speeds are obviously a little bit higher so that the laptop can breathe properly. It can make sure the temperature's under control. But if you do something a little bit more productive, it'll automatically, you know, tone down those fan speeds so it's a relatively quiet operation when you're just doing casual tasks like perhaps watching a video or you know working on a Word document or something like that. Basically, it takes care of things without having the user to fiddle around with different settings. Now, I also do wanna mention that Azure is not meant to push the notebook to its extreme ends, but rather offer users a more balanced experience. Does that mean that they won't have any control over AI? Not really, because you can simply right click on the icon and disable it, and you can go back to Control Center and change different settings to your desire. This kind of refers back to that previous statement that I mentioned, how Azure is basically an automatic transmission, but it has paddle shifters as well, so that it gives users you know, the best of both worlds. Now, interestingly, if you tweak and tune a profile within Control Center, and if you're comfortable using that for your day-to-day -day tasks, uh, you can actually share that information with Azure by simply uploading it to the cloud. Now, I do wanna add a few more things before getting into the performance segment. As I mentioned earlier, Azure primarily detects what's on your screen. So if you decide to connect an external display, uh, it might actually not work as you'd like it to because for instance, if I have Premiere or After Effects running on my secondary monitor, and if I have like a word processor running on my primary display, it would still detect what's on this display or it wouldn't run as efficiently as you'd like it to uh, on uh, your secondary display or that particular application. So in a multi-monitor scenario, Azure might not work as it's supposed to. So that is something to keep note of. The other thing is that as I was monitoring clock speeds while gaming, when I had AI enabled and gaming mode, which is the highest performance space set on Control Center for this notebook, I noticed that there was a little bit of a difference between the core frequencies on the RTX 2070 max q which is probably why the results uh, or the frame rates uh, with AI enabled was a little bit higher compared to gaming mode. So that's another thing that I did notice. Lastly, if you decide to unplug the notebook while doing something intensive, it'll switch automatically to battery saver mode, which should seem obvious. So you're not gonna be getting the best optimal performance for that certain application. You're more likely gonna get the best possible battery life because the hardware is more optimized for that setting. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get into the performance numbers. So this Aero 15 Classic features a Core i7-9750H with 16 gigs of RAM in dual channel mode, a 512 gig NVMe SSD, and an RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU. And let's start with some synthetic tests. So starting with Cinemage R15, there isn't a huge improvement, but if you look at Blender running the BMW benchmark, it actually completes that render 30 seconds faster compared to when uh, AI is disabled. And mind you, this was in gaming mode because I did want to give Azure some competition. So seeing that it channels as much as power as it can to the CPU, in this case, to render that, uh, scene is quite impressive. Moving on to the Adobe Media Encoder test, I took this 30 minute 4K project and I exported it to the YouTube 4K preset using Intel QuickSync. And as you can see, there is a pretty big difference between you know AI enabled and when you have that disabled by just using gaming mode uh, within Control Center. And I was actually monitoring the clock speeds uh, within you know hardware monitor to see what the speeds were when I was running the video. And I noticed with AI, uh, all six cores were constantly reaching four gigahertz uh, here and there, whereas with AI disabled, the speeds were hovering around 3.3 to 3.5 gigahertz. So the fact that AI or Azure is actually channeling all that power to the CPU in this case makes a lot more sense because it actually renders the video a lot faster 
So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. Switching gears to gaming, and the performance delta here is very incremental. As you can see, you're only getting a few frames per second here and there uh, with titles like Overwatch, Apex Legends, Battlefield 1. Doom certainly does take a little bit of a hit, but I think that's more of an optimization issue. So the results really do speak for themselves. I mean, the performance improvement was very incremental, but Keep in mind that this was all done automatically without the user having to fiddle around with certain settings. All I did was I just turned this Azure AI button on and uh, it started taking care of its thing. Now, we all have concerns in terms of privacy and what we're giving away. And Microsoft and Gigabyte, they are they have done what they can to minimize concerns, which is why they have that little pop-up window that asks for your consent, so you can either agree or disagree. It's totally up to the user. But I feel like Azure AI is a step in the right direction. It's constantly evolving over time, and I can't wait to see what Gigabyte and Microsoft can come out with in the next few years. I also have a question for you guys. If you own an Aero 15 notebook, have you tried out Microsoft Azure AI, and what has your experience been like? Definitely chime in in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the performance differences between AI, Azure AI, and of course, gaming mode with the whole maxed out setting. Uh, what, are you guys impressed? Or um, yeah, I just would love to know your thoughts about that in the comments. I'm Ebo with Hyrule Canucks. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out some relevant content over here. I'm signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.